Hello, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. In this video, we're going to talk about how I choose what size pipe I need for my radon mitigation systems. So just a little background on this house. We've got two other suction points that are both built out of two inch pipe. So that two inch pipe is going to come down through the wall here and tie into my primary suction point here. To determine what size pipe I need, I need to know a few things. And one of them is to determine how much air I need to move to hit my target pressure field extension in my weakest test hole. So let's mock that up now. I've got two test holes here in this crawl space area that we're in. So we'll turn on my shop vac and then I'll open the valve on my pitot tube here, which is tied into my suction point. In this instance, I'm looking for one pascal of negative pressure in this purple test hole. So I'll dial that down a little bit. Okay, there, we've got one pascal negative pressure in my weakest test hole, and this one exceeds my target pressure, but that's okay. To determine how much air I need to move in order to get that one pascal negative pressure, I need to know my velocity pressure in my pitot tube. So that, I've got about 10 pascals of velocity pressure. So now I can come back to my chart here I go to the number 10 at the bottom here, and I'm going to go up to the blue line, which is the 2 inch line for the 2 inch pitot tube. And then I'm going to go over to the left, and I can see I'm moving maybe 16 or 17 CFM to hit my target pressure field numbers there. So just as a general rule of thumb, if you're moving maybe less than 35 CFM, you can use 2 inch pipe. However, if you've got a bunch of fittings on there, you may want to consider using 3 inch pipe because you're going to get some friction loss. If you're moving between, say, 40 and 60 CFM, you can get by with 3 inch pipe. However, if you step up to maybe more than 60, 70 CFM, then you're going to want to consider using 4 inch pipe because you can move a lot more air through that without needing to use a much larger fan. To learn more how pressure drop or the length of pipe affects your radon system, check the links in the description. One is to Bill Broadhead's website where he goes into all the nerdy details of pressure drop calculations, and one is to a radon course where we cover it. And until next time, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. Thank you so much for watching.